Today I'll show you 5 essential transitions in Premiere Pro that will level up your video quality. Let's do it. First on the list is the blur transition. It's a very simple effect, but it can definitely make your videos look more professional if you use it correctly. Now, how to make the transition in Premiere Pro. First, you need to create an adjustment layer and drag it on top of the clips. Then you need to trim the adjustment layer. I am going 13 frames to the left and 17 frames to the right. Grab the fast blur effect and set a keyframe at the beginning, the end and the middle of the layer. Set the middle keyframe to 20. To create a little bit of a dreamy look, grab the VR glow effect. Adjust the settings as shown and set the keyframes 4 frames after the beginning of the layer and the last keyframe to 5 frames before it ends. Then go to the middle, set a keyframe and adjust the glow brightness. For me, 0.4 worked. Lastly, you have to adjust the keyframes to make it a little bit faster. Open up the speed graph editor and adjust the handles as I show it in the video. The slide transition is also one of the basic transitions every editor should know. It is extremely versatile and can be applied to basically every single video clip that you can think of. So let's not waste any more time and I'll show you how to do it. Start by dragging the replicate effect onto your clips and set the count to 3. Now you need to apply the mirror effect 4 times in total. For the first mirror effect, you need to set the reflection angle to 0, the second one to 90, the third one to minus 90 and the last to 180. Now you need to adjust every single mirror effect so these harsh edges get smoothened out. When you are done, you need to zoom into the original frame. So go up to the scale option and adjust it properly. I recommend saving this as a preset already, so when you're recreating effects in my further videos, you don't need to do it every time manually. If you want the smoothest result, you need to do everything we just did for the second clip too. When you're ready, grab the transform effect and set a keyframe at the end and another one 7 frames before that. Adjust the position on the last keyframe so that it looks like the camera is actually going to the right. Now open up the speed graph editor and recreate this curve. For the second clip we do the exact same but basically in the opposite direction. I also put 10 frames between these keyframes to make it even smoother. Again, you need to recreate the curve as shown. Now you are basically done. However, if you want to know the secret to an extra smooth slide transition, don't skip to the end just yet. All we need to do is to nest the clips and uncheck uniform scale. Now we adjust the scale width so that the frame stretches a bit horizontally as the transition is happening. For the final touch, adjust the speed graph once again like I did here. The zoom transition is a very popular effect in all kinds of videos. You can find it almost everywhere. In car edits, vlogs, montages, music videos and so on and so on. Besides its popularity, it's also very easy to pull off. Back in Premiere, we are going to create an adjustment layer and drag it on top of our clips. Go 10 frames to the left and crop the layer there. In order that the effect actually works, you need to cover the rest of the second clip completely. Now we need the transform effect and the first adjustment we make is to set the shutter angle to 240. Now split the adjustment layer in the middle. For the left side we are going to create a keyframe at the start and another one at the end, set it to 180. Then we adjust the speed graph. For that just copy what I am doing here. On the right side we set a keyframe at the start and another one 24 frames ahead. Set the scale to 125 or something that fits your clip. Now you need to recreate the speed graph like I show here. Keep in mind that everything here was created in a sequence with 30 frames per second. If you have a different frame rate, you need to adjust all keyframes accordingly. If you stuck with me to this part of the video, let me tell you, this is going to be a transition that you must try. The shaky zoom transition is not only one of my favorite transitions, but it also looks extremely cool. And again, it is another transition that you can literally put on every single clip. So let me show you how it's made. First you need to create an adjustment layer and put it on top of your clips. Now crop it down to the length of how long you want the transition to be. Now grab the transform effect and start setting keyframes to the start, the middle and the end of the layer. 
set the middle keyframe to 300 or something that works for your clip. Now this next step is optional, but I like to animate the opacity of my layers as well, since then you really create a feeling of going through the video frame. Lastly, like always, change the speed graph of your scale keyframes to make the animation smoother. To add the shake to the zoom effect, you need to apply a second adjustment layer on top of the first. Apply the transform effect, crop it to about the length of your keyframes that you have placed earlier and set the scale within the transform effect to 120. If that doesn't work for your clip, just scale in a bit so you have the space to animate the shake. Now, unfortunately, you have to animate the position frame by frame manually. However, if you do this once, you can basically save that as a preset for later and you're always going to have a shake effect ready to go. To animate the actual shake effect, I'm going through the clip and I I just play around with the position settings and I try to change the direction after every keyframe. Now that you have done that, the transition is ready to go. The glow transition is another must-have in an editor's toolbox. It's very easy to create and can be combined with all kinds of other effects, for example like my blur transition I explained earlier in the video. To create a transition, simply drag and drop an adjustment layer on top of the clips and crop it to 8 frames per side. Then add the VR glow effect and adjust the settings to what you like. I'm going for a dreamy look, so I make the glow a bit softer. Then you need to create three keyframes again. One for the start, one for the middle and the last one for the end of the adjustment layer. Now set the glow brightness to zero for the start and the end. Lastly, smooth out the speed graph again. And that's already it. The glow transition is now a part of your repertoire. These were 5 transitions that will definitely improve your videos. Comment your favorite transition below or tell me what topics I should cover next. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and keep creating.